4,840 pounds. This is the Winnebago 2200 SS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this is a just a little bit bigger version of a model that Winnebago has been building for a while. The uh, I believe the 2201 essentially. The idea here is that there are a lot of people who loved the way it was put together, but um, the uh, the Micro Mini, which is the other version of the floor plan I've described, which you can find here at Haylet's. It's a narrow body. It had a smaller total size. So this is a full size RV, which is nice. It's normal eight foot wide platform, normal height, normal everything. Um, still an ultralight, 4,840 pounds, very easily. Potentially, um, you know, a tow package equipped SUV towable. And these things have been the unexpected breakout star of a very deep ultralight lineup here at Halitz. Uh, over a dozen different lightweight brands here, and these guys have really punched through to be a very impressive contender uh, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, by the way, at any point, if you want to learn things like price tag, tank capacities, all that good stuff, I publish all that data for you. It's easy to get to. It's one click away down in the video description. It says check for price and availability. Click that, and all those handy things are answered. So where are these guys different? Where are they unique? Because I do believe that every trailer is the best at something. What is it about Winnebago that people have been resonating with? It's the fine detail. It's the attention to detail, the fit and the finish. Like, okay, so a big wide baggage door, a taller and wider baggage door with a big wide baggage compartment. These are not new things to the industry, but notice that they have everything fully finished. Notice that we have a handy battery disconnect over there. We still have LED lighting here in your pasture basement storage. Extra little things Winnebago's doing that not everybody's doing. Um, We've got a, a, a different style chassis from most trailers. Um, there are some other brands out there using it and they share a similarly hyper impressive service record with these Winnebago's. And by that I mean we just don't usually have service related issues with them. And I think it's because they just ride on a better chassis. A normal I-beam frame is fine. This is just better. This is a NXG frame. It's an aircraft style chassis. Basically in English, it's lighter and stronger. If you want a greater uh, explanation of that, give us a call. Um, at some point, it does not hurt to actually speak with a living, breathing human being. And I am not the only person here who is well educated on these. And something I should have mentioned right away is the firecracker red skin package we have going on here. Um, Winnebago is about the only manufacturer who still allows you, uh, well really not even still, but ever allowed you exterior skin options. And they have white, red, blue, uh, champagne, orange, canary, yellow, platinum. They have like seven or eight different color skins you can put on these. So the one we're looking at here in this video could and very likely is very different looking from the one that we have in stock, even if they're equipped the same. And look at the reflectivity. This is a true high gloss gel coated exterior. You can see that I'm, I mean, you can clearly just see me here. You don't even need the sun shining on my balding head to be able to spot where I'm at over here. You don't need that kind of sun beacon. So they're using the best in class uh, fiberglass skin out there. This is a true, uh, a T60 true gel coat, basically. It's uh, the same fiberglass skin they use on their diesel pushers. They're using it even here on their lightweight ultralights. There's nobody else, nobody else in this class doing that. That is a unique, exclusive, best in class feature right there. This is going to hold up better in the weather. It's gonna clean easier, and it obviously looks friggin' fantastic. They're also very good about putting some really sizable bedroom windows in here. That's something I really like about these. It, uh, you know, you, you've got great visibility and, and good light inside. And Winnebago, you know, having that classic Winnebago feel and look and vibe, they understand you need ventilating windows. And what I like is they're using a jowlessy style window. For those not familiar, that means the window tilts open instead of slides open. So this big window panel can give you airflow even on a rainy day. Now they're not going to use tilting windows on the sides of the slide house because if it was tilted open and you ran that in, you're going to be really sad. So they don't let you do that. So these are still sliding panels over here, but notice they're all UV tinted. It gives you privacy and keeps the RV cooler. And little detail stuff like this I love. They put these little accents in the wheels so that the wheels uh, are color keyed to the sidewall of the trailer. Whatever color key you have on the side of the trailer is going to be accented down there. Black tank flush, outside shower, 18 gallon per hour water heater, or the, all the core critical things you need. We have added a ladder to this because they do have a walk-on roof. Um, some, not all, ultralights have that. Arguably, uh, folks can say that it doesn't have to have a walk-on roof, and in point of fact, if something does not have a walk-on roof, that doesn't mean that it doesn't have good structure. 
the structure of the RV is, is built into the skeleton, the trusses, not the roof decking itself. There is a fine distinction there, it's important. Or you could just eliminate the question altogether and get a Winnebago, there you go. Um, this is a couple's camper with an awesome rocking rear bathroom, big, huge, like four foot by eight foot rear bath. Um, and that allows for the opportunity to have this nice outside kitchen. They stuck with the low profile outside kitchen here and you've got the biggest closet I've ever seen in a couple's camp and ultralight inside as a result because it's everything above this to the ceiling is just pure storage inside. It is awesome and I like that the stuff comes to you. I like it when you don't have to reach inside to get to things but the things come to you. That is smart. We've uh, optioned in an outside TV hookup station here as well. Um, power awning with LED lighting. That's a nice upgrade we put on here. All, I mean, just all kinds of good stuff going on in this. Let's step inside for you. So there are different fabric interior decors, just like there's different exterior skin options. This is called Onyx. This is the uh, darker skins with the really rich fabric accents to it. But again, remember the one that we have in stock could be, probably is very different looking from this one. So you've probably immediately noticed a very different looking interior in your Winnebago's. They went with that off white interior. And uh, what that gives you is uh, a brighter look, which feels larger inside. Um, even though we do have a nice LED lighting package in here, even if I turn them off with all these big windows, it stays nice and bright in here. So it's a very good dry camper, very good park camper, very good whatever you want it to be camper. In this floor plan, actually in all the Winnebago mini series, they have above floor slide outs. The slide does not have to kick down. What that means is that we have a 100% carpetless floor plan. There's no carpet in this. Broom it out, Swiffer it out, easy cleaning. We've got central ceiling AC. We've got floor ducted heating with a, 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 um, a, a skinned and heated underbelly in this. That's the, the underbelly stuff is an option, but we do it across the board. Um, it, uh, unless like we flat out run out of um, Winnebago products and we have to call a factory and say, give us whatever you can as soon as you can. That's how it's gonna be. We've got nicer materials. You can hear real wood versus MDF foam. Fo the foam is okay, it, it, it's not bad. This is just better. It's gonna last longer. It's gonna hold up better, especially to temperature changes. Here in the Midwest, we get an equal mix of all four seasons. My friend in California says, dude, we only get three seasons. We get nice summer, we get really hot, and then we get nice summer again before it starts over. <laughs> Um, this is all pocket screw cabinetry. You can reach around in here and it, you can actually feel where everything's screwed together and not stapled, by the way. Um, so we've got a nice, easy walk around bed up front here. We got that big privacy curtain. So most of the time it's just probably going to be a, a pair of you, but you could always fold this down for like a grandkid sleeper if need be. By the way, behind this sofa, you see this little table. There's a, a free floating folding leg table you can toss out here. That can give you like a dining experience. Some people I've, I've heard say, well, we sit on the edge of the bed so that we can go whoosh and look straight across at the entertainment center over here. To each their own. I don't care. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great that everyone, that's what I love about camping. There's different ways to go about it and none of them are the wrong way. Bed has an easy lift system for storage there. They give you a bigger hanging closet here with an open uh, size or side wardrobe over there. Um, or open side wardrobe, just open stand for your CPAP machines and whatnot. Some people like it when both sides of bed have the same. Some people like it when they're different. That's why I carry more than one brand of RV. It's not that any one manufacturer is wrong. It's just that they're each a little bit different. So we give you options at our store. Um, when you start looking at hardware, we talk, I talked about like the hardwood fascia and stuff up here. We've got nicer stainless sinks and you're going to see that repeated in the bathroom. They're just using better fixtures, better materials because this thing is designed to be like a retirement lightweight basically. If you're looking for the last RV you're ever going to own but you just don't want to get a big three quarter ton diesel truck and you just don't care about a 35 to 39 foot fifth wheel. This is perfect, guys. This is perfect for that just nice casual running around experience. We've got all plywood box drawers. They're not press board with a sticker wrap. You gotta look for fine details like that. Again, the press board sticker wrap drawers, they're okay. These are just going to be better and last longer. It's a construction difference. Um, we upgrade to a, a full-size oven, and that includes the uh, oven cover on these Winnebago's. 
uh, that, that just kind of is, a, it's like a, a two-piece advantage right there. And I do really like that lighter cabinetry color. You don't, it's got a very nice light dark contrast that makes the RV feel very big inside. We like to add the TV in as an option, but um, you will get that standard AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player no matter what though. Um, big, I told you, massive rear bathroom. When I said eight foot by four foot, I might have been shy. I think this is a six by eight bathroom. It is huge. Look at all the ridiculous amount of floor space you have here. You've got a nicer porcelain foot flush stool. In this class, you usually get a plastic stool. Uh, a lot of times you get a foot flush, but it is nice to have the nicer bowl. Porcelain's nicer because it's not porous, so it doesn't hold bacteria. It can't uh, get smelly, basically, and you can actually scrub it with normal abrasives and cleaners. We've got a big radius corner fifth wheel shower in an ultra light little uh, travel trailer 4800 pounds or whatever and again i told you about that stainless sink with a huge cabinet and counter space array and this is a big sink it just looks small because the countertop is so big around it and i like the double vanity that they have over here i think that's a nice touch but the best part of the bathroom is if it wasn't big enough already is this ridiculous closet over here this double hanging closet with the offset like hat storage we got the utility shelves on the side for long-term storage. It even has like a little sort of bucket effect that goes down inside of here so you don't have to worry about cargo shift busting out of your doors. This is the biggest closet I've ever seen in a rear bathroom camper ever. Well, pardon me, I've seen it matched one time by another Winnebago, of course. <laughs> so, you know, whether, it doesn't really matter what you're looking for. There's a lot of good stuff here. And now, like, if you pull on that, door jam it's all framed in it's all fully framed in these doors line up even though the trailer is not on the jacks um even though it's not set and leveled it's still structurally sound remember better chassis better materials uh you know better construction that stuff matters long term guys this is this looks sharp and on the surface, it looks and has the same floor plan as a lot of other RVs out there, but it's the equipment over the extended period of ownership and the materials that separate this one from so many others. There's very, there's other very nice RVs out there. And this is not an RV, this is a Winnebago. These guys, I mean, their name is camping, their name is RVing, and they are building a product that backs that up. Um, you know, they're, they're building something in a towable RV here that matches the integrity of what they've accomplished in the motorized industry. It's very, very impressive. And they're growing like crazy. These are becoming more and more popular. We were glad to be on the leading cusp of that. We saw something in this product and we were right. We knew uh, that this was going to be a very popular product and it continues to be. And what's more, it's not just that we sell a bunch of them, it's that they stay in your driveway. What more do you really want than that? So give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.